What if I told you you could get a smart mirror where you can see everything clearly without any abstractions? With a built-in dash cam that records videos while driving using the front and rear camera. So if something happens, you have everything recorded. And besides, it's very easy to install in your car and you can do it yourself in 10 minutes. Are you guys happy with your rear view mirror? Where it's really hard to see what's going on behind you with all these blind spots. The only thing you can see with this mirror is people in the rear seat eating food. <laughs> or stuff you carry in your trunk which blocks all the view. And since you can buy it directly from the manufacturer, it's super cheap. Well, I don't like to use the word cheap. Let's say very inexpensive. Anyone can afford it. And as a bonus, you can enter a giveaway for a chance to win one smart mirror for free. So make sure to stick around to the end of this video as I'll explain more. I'm not going to talk about features and installation because I already made a full demo in my previous video. And if you want to watch a full tutorial of this smart mirror, I'll put a link below in the description area. In this video, I'll show you what's new and some new very cool features that have been added to this new 4K Pelsi P12 Pro model and how to use them. I want to show you this latest model, the Pelsi P12 Pro and what's new. First, it has a newly redesigned menu. You can now access the settings, microphone, camera, recordings and video lock right from the touchscreen. Now, to change the view from the front to the rear camera, you just need to swipe the touchscreen. And if you swipe again, you can view both cameras simultaneously. Swipe again to see the front camera only, but I'll change to rear camera because I plan to use it as my rear view mirror. Now you can also swipe up and down on the mirror's right and left sides. If you swipe up and down on the right side, you'll adjust the brightness. But if you swipe up and down on the left side, you will change the angle of view. You can tilt it all the way down if you need help while parking in reverse. Or you can move it all the way up, but I want to move it somewhere in the middle, so I can see far away since I intend to use it as my full-time rear view mirror. If you touch the voice button, you can control it by voice. Switch to front camera. Okay. And it's super fast. Show rear camera. Okay. Show both cameras. Okay. Take photo. And then I realized the voice activation is completely hands free. So you don't need to touch anything. Lock the video. Okay. If you lock the video, it will be saved and never erased. While you lock the video, the recording dot changes from red to yellow. You can switch the microphone, manually lock the video and stop or start recordings. On the right side, there is a compass and your vehicle speed display. On the top left, the red dot with the timer shows the progress of the recordings. 
But as soon as you enter the settings, the video will stop recording. From here, you can enter the dash cam, the smart drive settings, your recorded files, camera settings, and system settings. But first, let's enter the system settings. First, make sure the screen sleep is closed, so the display won't turn off and it will always be on. Next, I'll change the kilometers per hour to miles per hour. And since I'm in Los Angeles, I'll change the time zone to GMAT minus 7 hours. And now I have the correct date and time, which is important because it's embedded in your video. Before you use the inserted micro SD card for the first time, make sure to format it so it bonds with your system and you won't have any issues with the memory. You can view the software version and the name of your model, which is P12 Pro. Now let's go to the camera settings. Here I'll change the recording speeds to 3 minutes in length instead of 1 minute. Turn WDR on, especially to improve the night footage. And it's extremely important to switch the rear mirror on if you plan to use it as a smart rear view mirror. Now let's enter the file explorer where you can view, lock or delete all your video files. Video F displays videos from your front camera, video B from your rear camera, and video lock shows the protected videos. You can watch the video that I locked here. It also records sound. And the image shows all your taken photos. Here is the picture that I took and here is how it actually looks in my saved file. It looks pretty good. When you take a snapshot, it shoots both cameras simultaneously. So you also get a photo from a rear camera. And here is the actual one. All the information is embedded in your footage automatically. Now let's go back and enter the Smart Drive Assistance. Here you have Advanced Driver Assist and Blind Spot Detection. But before you can use it, you need to calibrate it. Park your car on the street with clearly marked road lanes. And the image on the left explains it all. The red line has to center on the horizon on the top of the end of the road. And the green dotted line has to be positioned in the middle of your lane. You must adjust it on the live view using the green and red arrows accordingly. The yellow line has to be positioned on top of the hood. And as you can see on the live view, it's way off. So let's use the yellow arrows to raise it. Now everything looks perfect. Remember to click the save button, otherwise you lose everything. Once you turn the driver assist on, the 4K recordings will switch to a 2K, which is still excellent as you've seen in my previous video. You can also change the settings. For example, you can switch off the warning sounds from the whole system or only per individual type of warning. And you can also change the sensitivity individually based on each type of warning. But I'll leave everything at medium for now. Now let's return to the smart drive and calibrate the blind spot detection. Make sure to align your lines with the lines marked on the ground. Here you need to define the blind spots as explained in the image on the left. And you can always come back and readjust it. The goal is to cover the outside lanes visually. There is a little red dot in the corner. You can move it four ways using these arrows. If you touch a middle square, the red dot will move into a different corner. Now let's bring the red dot closer to a line marked on the ground, dragging the corner of the blind spot area toward my lane. Now this corner is touching my lane. Let's hit the square to move the red dot into the next corner and bring it a little back and to the right. 
Okay, now this line is hugging my lane. Hit the square to move the red dot to the next corner. And let's bring the outer corners into the side lane. After you hit the square again, the red dot jumps into the corner of the second blind spot area on the right. Repeat all four corners adjustments in the same way. Clicking the save button is extremely important, otherwise all your effort will be wasted. After you click save, return to the screen and drive your car on the street with clearly marked lanes, ensuring everything is aligned correctly. And as you can see my blind spots are in perfect locations. Now, if you look at my smart rear view mirror, you'll notice my blind spot areas are gray. But as soon as another car enters this spot, the gray changes to red color. And I can hear a beeping sound, which warns me that someone is passing on the right side. When someone passes on the left side, the warning sound is shorter it tells you which side the car is pacing you. Besides the beeping and all the visuals, the side of the smart mirror also flashes in red. So I get both visual and audible warnings. I drive slowly on purpose to show you how it works. But if you drive like this normally, you may want to switch the beeping sound off and just rely on the visual warnings. Very cool. And as far as driver assist, it tells about dangers while driving. Safe distance. Careful collision. Lane departure. Safe distance. Front car start. Careful people. If you want to watch a full tutorial of this smart mirror, I'll put a link below in the description area. This Pelsi smart mirror is an excellent dashcam to get for yourself, or it can be a great and unique present for your friends or relatives. It is currently on sale, plus you can use my discount code to save some extra money. The links are below in the description area. And if you buy one via my link, I may get a tiny commission to support this channel. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the giveaway. The main prize is a brand new Pelsi P12 Pro smart mirror. And here are two simple rules on how to enter it. The first step is to visit my Facebook fan page and click both the like and follow buttons on top of the page. So if you win, I can contact you. The second step is to visit Pelsi Facebook fan page and also click the like and follow buttons. So if you win, they will know where to send it. And that's it, that's how easy it is to enter the free giveaway. So go ahead and test your luck. I think you have a good chance. I'll put all the links in the description of this video. And the question of today is, do you think the blind spot assist is an important feature? Please let us know in the comment section below.